everyone and welcome to Arts and Crafts for You. My name is Gina and today we're going to be doing uh, this uh, little fabric box. It's really great for um, gifts, for uh, teacups, for you know, for a teacher, Mother's Day. Uh, I'm going to open this one and show you. It's a really easy project and I think you can even put it in your sewing room. So if you open it, it ends up like that and as you see here I actually have a little teacup and I made a little bag here and I put some tea in it. Uh, it's a really great idea for uh, for gifts. Um, also, you know, uh, for your sewing room or anything you want to put in it, I think will be a great uh, box to have around. It's really easy to make. So on this one here, I'm going to put this one to the side and on this one here, as you see, if I open it, I actually put a little button on this one on the top. And um, I'm going to open it here. Oops, I think I twisted a little, tied it too, too tight. But okay, there we go. And this one here I actually have, if you see, I have is my pin cushion. You can put your scissors, your cutters, your, you know, your cutters. You can also put uh, anything you want in your sewing room. And uh, it will re really look really nice. Okay, so I'm going to give you all the the measurements for uh, for this little box and um, and we'll get started okay for our outside fabric this is a really good project that's really good to use with five inch squares so uh, for the outside uh, fabric that I used on this one here you see how, how I use two colors and on this one I only use one color all the way on the outside on the inside on the outside but we're going to be using with uh, two colors. So if you have five inch squares that you want to use, it's a great project for it. So I have here, I would start with five of one color, five inch squares of one color and four of the other. And we're going to set it up like this. So this is going to be my old side on this side here. And then this is going to be on my inside. So we're going to start with that one here. And because my fabric is directional, I'm actually going to put, put the flowers sticking out because this is my bottom. And so flowers standing up like this also. And all the way, the flowers always side to the outside. And this one also the same thing. All right, then you're going to get your other fabric and you're going to put on the corners. All right. So the total squares that you're going to need is going to be uh, nine squares. All right. So now what are you going to do? We're going to sew these into rows. This row, that one, and then that one. And then you're going to join them all together here matching your seams. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to sew these and I'll be right back. Okay, so we sew our uh, squares, our nine squares, and I used a quarter of an inch seam allowance and I also open all my seams. Okay, so now after you have this part done, you're going to get your back fabric and a piece of fusible fleecy and you're going to cut it to the same size. First we're going to cut the fusible fleecy to this size here and we're going to fuse to this fabric okay so I'm going to go fuse to the, this to the back and then I'm going to cut one piece the same size as that and just in case you're wondering what size it is, that's 14 inches that I have here, all my squares. So it would be 14 by 14. Okay, so I'm going to cut a piece of this as 14 by 14, the same for my back. Okay, so we're going to fuse our fusible fleece 
to our outside fabric and then after that's done we're gonna sew the 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 inside fabric all the way around we're gonna put right sides together and then we're gonna be sewing this all the way around and leave an opening about two inches but before we sew that we have to add the ribbon to the corners to two of the corners so you're gonna go here to one of the corners and pin a ribbon I have some pins here and to the opposite corner you're going to put the other ribbon all right so so around again and leave the two inches open okay I'm gonna go ahead and go fuse my fusible fleece and sew all the way around with my opening and I'll be right back okay so I'm back so I sew all the way around left about a two inch opening to turn inside out also I forgot to mention that the ribbon that we put on the corners here was 11 and a half inches each okay and my seam allowance is a quarter of an inch that's what I used to sew all the way around so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim the corners of course these scissors I'm gonna trim slightly these little these corners because you end up with a better turn and then you're gonna turn it inside out okay so you go in to the farthest corner pull that out and then just turn it all the way to the other side So you're going to take this to the sewing machine and you're going to do a top stitch all the way around but before that just iron it so you have a better closure here. Alright so I'll be right back. So I'm back so I iron it and did the top stitch all the way around and now for this part this is what we're going to do. We, we're going to go here where you see where the, the squares are joined here we're actually going to go here not the middle part here this middle part we're going to ignore it we're just going to go this seam here this one here that one this one that one and that one all the outside seams where the squares are joined we're going to go like this we're going to fold it have the seam right to the middle and we're going to do a seam let's see if i can show you from starting here on the joinment here uh, where the squares join from there all the way up really close to the edge uh, I would say about a quarter of an inch from the edge in okay so you're gonna do that to there I'm just gonna put a pin here okay the only thing you have to pay attention is that you when you do sew this line here that you actually catching your lining that your lining gets caught in there on that seam allowance that you're doing okay so then you're gonna do the same to this one All right you're gonna do it the same way so that's two then you're gonna do next one make sure I have my lining in there to go ahead and sew all those and I'll be right back so I'm back as you see I sew all the outsides 
and I made sure my lining got caught on those seams and this is what it would look like after you do all those seams. The only place we don't have a seam is the middle here. The square here in the middle, there's no seam. So then you turn it around and you get the opposite corners to the ribbon. You bring it back to the middle here. Get a needle and thread and you're going to secure these two edges. Just touching each other. If you have a nice button, you can add a button. On this one here, I added a button. So you can add a button if you'd like. This one I'm just going to sew the edges. Just if you use thread that's the same color, you shouldn't see it. So now you bring this, the ribbons, from one side and then from this side, from under, you're going to bring it here and you're going to tie it. Okay, then you fix your sides here, just fix them up. And there you go. You're little do a, a little bow. And you're done. If you were using uh, one solid fabric, what would you have to do is uh, I'm just gonna open this to explain. So you would have to cut it on this case here, as you see. I use one color only on the outside. So what I did is I, I need to divide this into nine parts. So into nine squares. And they have to be all the same size. Right? So what I did, in this case here, I actually did five inches squares here. Uh, but because I didn't use squares, I did a, so a big piece of fabric. I did so five so 5, 10, 15, so it would be 15 by 15, and I add the seam allowance. So I add uh, half an inch seam allowance all the way around. So I would end up with 15 by 15. Then what I would do is, I would do, with the measuring tape, I would measure 5 inches and draw lines. All right, so you would draw lines so you know where to sew your seam here. Okay, I hope that explains how to do it with one solid color so you don't have to cut it into squares if you chose not to. Um, other than that, I think it's pretty simple. And you can also make different sizes. You can, uh, you know, whatever size you, you would like to make, you can. You just make sure that you can divide it in, uh, in equal parts. Okay, so our video is done. So if you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos every Saturday. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.